I am going to be adding first make my hundred my tens and then my ones T chart and I'm going to be using pictures today to show the regrouping between the numbers that I'm going to be adding. So I'm going to add the first number I'm going to add together. And the two numbers I'm going to add together are 38 and 43. So first, my job is to create the number 38. How many tens am I going to need to create the number 38? Ella. Three. One, two, three. How many ones do I need to create the number 38? Logan. Eight. Notice how I am very neatly drawing my eight ones. This is going to be helpful when we count and regroup. Because if I go like this, a lot of times they can blend together. And you won't be able to tell which number, which dots are together or which dots are um, separate. Right now, I love how Bria is listening and she's continuing to put her whiteboard on the um, on her desk. That's responsible. All right. If I'm going to make the number 43, how many tens do I need for that number? Callan, four. And then how many ones do I need for this number? Jake. Three. So I'm going to draw three very neat ones. Now, what place did we talk about always starting when we add? And what place do we start? Ones place. So I'm going to count up my ones first. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to stop there because I know if I have ten, that is more than nine, and I'm going to have to regroup those to the tens place. So I'm going to take those 10 ones and regroup them and put them in the tens place. Now, how many ones do I have left? Because right now these are canceled. These are in a different um, place value. So what is my, how many remain on my paper or on my whiteboard? You can show me that with your fingers. One. So I have one, one left. I can write that right here. I have one, one left. And then let's count our tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I don't want to forget this other one that we added from the regrouped ones. So then we have how many total tens? Elida. Eight. Eight. Thank you. So when we add 38 plus 43, we have 81. All right. Your job is to get out your whiteboards. And you're going to make a chart that looks very similar to this. And we're going to just do one practice problem with our, with tens. So the two numbers that you are adding together are 74 plus 19. First set up your number and your problem. And then you are going to add to find your different places. Right now, I'm just looking at Charlotte, and she drew her ones so organized. It's going to be very easy for her to count. Same with Jay. Harper James. Oh, awesome job. I'm going to use this for the class. All right. Hey, Ryan. Miss Strunk is going to be on the chat, too. She is going to be typing um, in the chat box with you and uh, asking you a few things about what you're thinking about with this addition problem. 
So just be on the lookout for that chat box. Okay. Give me a thumbs up when you are ready for your next career. Your lot of good thinking. All right, Elida, can I borrow yours and can you come up and share your thinking with the class? So this is Elida's work. Do you want to come up and explain what you did? That's perfect. I love how she represented the different values too by writing 90 plus 3. Because even though there are 9 tallies, those tallies represent 10. So 10, 9, or 90. Thanks for sharing your thinking. <laughs> All right, I want you to erase your boards, please. And then you're going to actually put them in your team. 